I'm a fisherman, and I'm dating a mermaid. I met her online. Today, I'm going to recap a 2014 crime thriller film called The Guest. The film opens with Laura Peterson, mourning the loss of her son, Caleb, a soldier who died in the war in Afghanistan. Laura is grief-stricken when a man named David Collins visits her, a former U.S. Army surgeon who claims to have been Caleb's friend during their service in Afghanistan. David shares that Caleb's will instructed him to visit his family and convey his love for them. Laura, moved to tears by her late son's message, thanks David and invites him to stay at their home for as long as he wishes. While Laura and David converse, Laura's daughter, Anna, appears and bids farewell to her mother before leaving for work. Laura introduces David to Anna before she departs. Elsewhere, Caleb's younger brother, Luke, is at school. He is a quiet, friendless student and a frequent target of bullying. After school, Luke's face is shoved into a locker by his tormentors. Upon arriving home, David introduces himself to Luke as Caleb's friend and takes an interest in him. Noticing Luke's bruised face, David inquires about it, but Luke lies, saying he was injured playing football. Later, Laura's husband, Spencer, arrives home and, like Laura, graciously welcomes David and allows him to stay as long as he wants. Spencer and David chat at length, with Spencer discussing a work-related issue. Meanwhile, Anna confides in her boyfriend, Zeke, about David's arrival. The next day, David surprises Luke by picking him up from school. Unconvinced by Luke's explanation for his bruised face, David asked to see his bullies. Luke points out the group of students responsible, and David and Luke follow them to a bar. David initially tries to undermine the bully's confidence by buying them expensive drinks, but when they insultingly pour the drinks on him, he physically confronts them. David then uses his legal knowledge and bribery to persuade the bartender not to report the incident. He encourages Luke to stand up to his bullies in the future. Later, Anna and David attend a Halloween party at one of Anna's friends' houses. Anna introduces David to Zeke, her boyfriend, and her friends, Kristen and Craig. David quickly befriends them with his charm. During the party, Kristen's ex-boyfriend causes a scene when she rejects his advances. David intervenes, rescuing Kristen and driving the ex-boyfriend away after a physical altercation. Motivated by David's courageous actions, Kristen takes him to her room and they spend some enjoyable time together. After talking with Kristen, David approaches Craig and inquires about purchasing a gun. Craig questions the purpose of the gun, to which David replies that as a soldier, he loves firearms. Craig mentions knowing someone who sells guns and offers to introduce David to the dealer, asking David to prepare the money. After setting up a meeting with Craig and the gun dealer, David and Anna head home. On the way, Anna proposes making a compilation CD for David. The next day, Anna overhears David's phone conversation and grows suspicious. She starts investigating David Collins, the man now living in her home. First, she contacts the military base to verify David's identity. The military promises to look into David Collins and share their findings with Anna. Upon receiving word about David Collins, a private company called KPG, led by Major Carver, assembles a special forces team and heads to the Peterson's home. It is ultimately revealed that the real David Collins is deceased, and the man living with the Petersons is an imposter, though his motives remain unknown. The scene shifts to David about to buy a gun from a man Craig knows, with Craig accompanying him. After presenting the money, the gun dealer shows David several pistols and asks him to test them. Unexpectedly, David has no intention of buying the gun. Instead, he kills the dealer and Craig and takes all the guns for himself. Meanwhile, Anna receives information from the military base that the David Collins residing in her home is an imposter, as the real David Collins is dead. She immediately informs her parents, but they do not believe her. Anna decides to prove her suspicions by stealing David's cell phone and photographing the list of recently dialed phone numbers. She then receives a call from Zeke, who tells her that someone killed Craig and is framing him for the crime. Concurrently, it is revealed that Spencer's boss at work has died mysteriously, leading to the promotion Spencer has long desired. In the evening, as the entire Peterson family, including David, gathers for dinner, 
Anna exposes David Collins' true identity. However, David persuades Laura and Spencer with his smooth talking and displays his military dog tags. Laura and Spencer dismiss Anna's claims and choose to believe David, frustrating Anna and fueling her determination to expose David's deceit. The following day, while dropping Luke off at school, Anna asks her younger brother to find out which number David had dialed on his cell phone. Meanwhile, as David helps Laura hang clothes to dry, he goes inside the house to fetch the remaining laundry. After David leaves, Major Carver and his special forces arrive and question Laura about David. Laura informs them that David is in the house, and anticipating Carver's arrival, David launches an attack. A firefight between David and Carver's team ensues. Carver attempts to protect Laura, but she flees into the house. David sustains a gunshot wound to his thigh, quickly bandages it, and eliminates all of Carver's team members, except for Carver himself. David encounters Laura hiding in the kitchen, and she appears bewildered by the people trying to kill him, questioning him about it. David, however, remains silent. With his cover blown, he stabs Laura with a kitchen knife and flees the scene. While driving, dust obstructs David's vision, causing him to collide with another car driven by Spencer, whom he subsequently kills with a gunshot to the chest. Carver, still in pursuit of David despite a burst tire, discovers the crashed car but David's whereabouts remain unknown. Carver finds Spencer's lifeless body and then asks a passerby to lend him a car so he can pick up Anna and Luke to ensure their safety before David can locate and kill them. Carver rushes to the restaurant where Anna works, reveals his identity, and informs her about her parents' deaths at David's hands. Carver discloses that David is a subject in a military medical experiment and has been programmed to kill anyone who might threaten his identity, and he's unlikely to stop even if he wanted to. Distraught over her parents' deaths, Anna immediately contacts her younger brother Luke, who is preparing for a Halloween party at school. Shortly after Carver and Anna depart the restaurant, David arrives, questions Kristen about Anna's location, shoots her dead, and detonates a grenade, destroying the restaurant because he finds Kristen suspicious. David then races to the school to kill Luke. Meanwhile, Carver and Anna reach Luke's school before David and enter a haunted house set up for Halloween, ultimately finding Luke tidying the area. Anna embraces Luke, relieved that he is safe. Suddenly, the lights go out and music plays as David, in the audio room, plays the compilation CD Anna gave him. David also switches off the lights, intending to kill them all on the spot. The trio hastily exits the area, following directions from Luke's teacher. However, David anticipates their move, confronts them, and kills the leading teacher. Witnessing this, Carver instructs Anna and Luke to find another exit while he faces David alone. Despite his rank, Carver is unable to stop the well-trained David and is eventually killed. On the other hand, Anna and Luke discover the exit, but David locks it with chains, leaving them trapped inside. Anna instructs Luke to hide while she confronts David. Initially, Luke resists, but upon learning that their parents were killed by David, he agrees to his sister's plan, intent on avenging their deaths. Luke hides, armed with a knife given to him by David as a precaution. Anna ultimately faces David and shoots him with Carver's gun. Despite being wounded, David rises and attacks her from behind, stabbing her in the leg. As Anna falls to the floor, David attempts to strangle her. She tries to aim the gun at David, but it misfires and damages a light, sparking a fire. Worried for his sister, Luke rushes to Anna's aid, stabbing David twice with the knife and freeing Anna from David's grip. Rather than displaying anger, David expresses pride in Luke, commending him for doing the right thing and giving him a thumbs up before falling unconscious. Soon police, ambulances, and firefighters arrive at the school. Anna and Luke, traumatized by the ordeal, are rescued. While resting in an ambulance, Anna and Luke overhear firefighters, mentioning that only two bodies have been discovered. As some firefighters exit the school, Anna notices one of them limping, and as the officer turns to face her, she realizes it is David, having disguised himself as a firefighter to secretly escape the scene. If you enjoyed this video, 
Don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.